Hi fam, welcome back to another Kelly Short. So in this video, I wanted to talk about having expectations of people and then being disappointed constantly. This comes up a lot with people who I talk to online and workshop with. It has come up a lot in family friend conversations. And sometimes we don't even realize the power we give over to other people when we have this like expectation of, of them doing something back to us or for us or whatever. And it's like we're constantly disappointed when they don't live up to our expectations. And this could look like many things. So, I mean, it could look like, you know, someone you expect to come visit you and they never do. Someone you expect to return a favor or take you out to dinner for your birthday because you did the same for them or um, you know texting back in the same with the same fullness of presence and energy that you did you know we have we have a lot of expectations that we put on people in our lives and a lot of times we hinge our happiness or like replenishment of energy on how they return that to us or if they live up to our expectations and more often than not we are disappointed over and over again i see this in cycles with people it's like they keep doing this and it's like they're constantly disappointed by this person and it's like hello so here's here's two points one you're putting all your happiness bath all your happiness eggs in their basket so like stop <laughs> That's why another video I have out is like happiness comes from the inside. Like start to cultivate the fact that you're okay whether or not they text back. You're okay whether or not they come and visit you. You're okay whether or not, you know, they treat you to dinner for your birthday too. And if you're not okay with that, then don't engage in it. You know what I mean? Like if you want to take your friend to a birthday dinner out of celebration and joy and you're like, yes, this is fabulous and you have no expectations, you just want to celebrate them, do it. But if you're going to do it and you can't get over wanting it back in return, then probably don't do it because you'll probably be disappointed, right? So w work on your inner work on cultivating gratitude, self-love, you know, love for your life as it is, fill your cup. And then from that place, you'll be able to like let go of those expectations because you know that happiness comes from the inside. Um, so yeah, to, to recognize that when it happens, like if you're constantly being disappointed, um, it's because you're, you're banking on them to return something to make you happy. So stop. That is just like a recipe for sadness. Second is, you know, this is kind of an energetic lesson of it is like drop, if you drop the expectation, if you drop that energy. So when you're, you're expecting something, it's like this, this like uh, channel of energy, this resistance kind of energy. You're expecting something, but they're not giving it. It's like they feel that almost and it's repellent. That's why, that's also why they're not doing it. So if you drop that and you're like, I don't have any expectations. If they come to visit, they come to visit. If they don't, it's okay, I'm happy both ways. It kind of energetically clears the field between you and then like ironically the idea to visit or the motive or inspiration or desire to visit or to text you back or to take you out to dinner whatever it might be might just flow up naturally in them you know what i mean and then it might happen anyway but you got to drop the charge from it you got to drop that you're holding the resistant thing in place you know so try those two things and let me know if it helps